Good afternoon, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, making a video overview for everybody of the ETFs. Why do we look at the ETFs? It's not because we like to look at a ton of charts, okay? No, we all have a limited amount of time. We wanna use it wisely. By looking at the ETFs, we can see industry themes, industry groups. You get a broad advance in an industry group, you can say, I need to find some stocks in that group because they'll go too, right? That's why we do what we do. Systematize. So here we go. Right here, you can see the ticker symbol up at the top. Bots, Global X Robotics, okay? And it's artificial and it's been working, okay? Clean and simple base, just working. Now, here's a valuable lesson. There was a clean and simple base here. Volume was never that heavy until it started to pick up here and here, okay? It's extended right now. The point is this, it's made a good move, but buying up here is risky, know that. Cloud computing starting to pick up. Here's the weekly, here's the daily. Now, what does that say? Okay, Pat, I don't own this, but maybe you should look into some cloud computing stocks. CLOU, find out what are their top 10 holdings. That's all available. You don't have to pay for it, all right? And again, look at the volume pickup here. So it's, it's starting to pick up. It tells us the rally in that area is good. Commodities, lagging. What does that tell us? Stay away from commodities. Commodity stocks, that's simple. Diamonds are starting, the Dow diamonds are starting to pick up. That's a plus. That's good to see. It says the rally's spreading out a little bit. Not a lot of leadership yet. Dow Jones Internet, look at this. Look at the move here. Look at the base here. Look at the weekly. It's just going. And that's just great. Do we Are we involved with Internet and technology? Yes. And it's been telling us to be involved with it. There you go. Continue onwards. Oh, by the way, it's still working. Find maybe some internet stocks that have clean and simple bases, things to look for. IBD50 starting to show some life. It's been in the doldrums for a long time here, folks, but it's starting to pick up. What does that say? The rally's spreading out a little bit. We like to know that. Here we go, micro sectors. This has made a huge move. This is leveraged, okay? So this, this is a triple. You gotta be careful with that, okay? Just pointing this out, the move that it's make. What does it say? Micro sectors. Thing. You can punch up FNGU and find out what they own. And you, you can guess by the FNGU or FANG, you can guess what they're involved with. And yeah, we've been involved with those stocks too. Here we go. <clears throat> First Trust Dorsey Wright tech related, starting to pick up a little bit, but not much. Okay. But it is improving. China's, it's picking up, but look, this is, le I mean, there's no, be careful with China. All right. And you know that by looking at the um, max list video on Baba, Alibaba and Baidu. Gold miners still lagging, leave it alone. Gold lagging, I mean, folks, look at what this did Friday. I mean, the market rallies and look what this does. What does it tell you? Stay away from gold. Do you know how powerful it is to know that? Just leave it alone for right now. And that's okay. Biotechnology, still lagging, leave it alone. Oil and gas, lagging, leave them alone. Te look at expanded uh, technology software. Talk software has been leading. Look at this move here. Look at this base break and it's working. Do you think we own some technology stocks? We own a lot of technology stocks and it was telling us to. That's it. No forecasting, getting in line. Here we go. Medicine still lagging. Be careful with medicine. Okay. Mid caps starting to pick up a little bit. Another one like MDY, it's starting to pick up. Maybe the rally spreading up. That's good to know. Aerospace defense lagging. Be careful with it. Home construction picking up a little bit, that's good to see. Maybe look into some home building areas. Have you noticed? What am I saying? Maybe look into, maybe it's telling us something. The rally's spreading out and that's good. Growth, that's an IVW, S&P 500 growth, picking up. Do we own growth stocks? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. That's good to know. Small cap, picking up a little bit. That's nice to see. It's finally starting to show some life here. This is the weekly and the daily. Good volume. What does that say to us? Well, it's not just the big stocks that are moving. It looks like some small cap stocks are starting to pick up too. There you go. That's good to know. And you can say why. Maybe look at some of them. Real estate still lagging. Leave it alone. Transportation picking up a little bit. It's better. Um, it does say the rally spreading into various areas. Airlines picking up a little bit. Still lagging, but it is picking up a little bit. Mid cap picking up a little bit. Do you see the theme here, folks? What's the takeaway from what I'm saying? And this is why we do this at Mission Winners. It's showing us strength and weakness in sectors, but also in the overall market. Isn't that what we want to know to make better investing decisions? If we see everything sliding, 
that ain't buying nothing. That helps us too. Part of making money is not losing a lot of money. By scanning these, it helps us make better decisions. Let's continue onwards. Oil service is still lagging. Be careful with that. Pharmaceuticals, they need drugs. Nothing to do with it. Leave it alone. Dynamic software, technology related. Are we involved in it? Yes. Have we been involved with it? Yes. But you can see it picking up. Tell me people don't look at the charts. It's, and by the way, this trade's really thin. Okay, I'm not saying buy it. But you can see it's just kind of going sideways, cup with a handle. Look at the volume surge on that bar. Right there versus these bars. Folks, people saw that cup and a handle and said, maybe if it uh, takes that out, that might be a good buy. Yes. Or if not that, maybe look into some software stocks. That's why we do this. Here's Q. Oh, by the way, let me go back up here. Hold on. There's software. QLD, NASDAQ 100, has been steadily grinding on up here. Look at this. And we own, and you know this, folks, it's documented. I think we own, gosh, I don't know how many NASDAQ 100 stocks, maybe 12, 15, maybe more. I don't know. But it's working. It's working. And it has been working. It's telling us where to go. There's a great quote, and I credit David Landry for it. I had this quote taped to my monitor for over 12 years, 15, whatever. I'll believe in what I see and not in what I believe. I'll say it again. I'll believe in what I see and not in what I believe. Let price and volume guide you. Don't impose your will on it. This has been leading, says maybe buy some NASDAQ 100 stocks. There you go. QQQ and the non-leveraged ones, same situation. Retail, bouncing around, but not a lot of leadership. Be careful with retail. Silver's lagging, leave it alone. Steel is lagging, leave it alone. Semiconductors have been strong. Look at that leading. Do we own some semis? Yeah, it's telling you. There you go. Spiders picking up. S&P 500 starting to pick up. That's good to see, as is the leveraged one. Tells us the rally's spreading out. Please know this. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm not like, bye, bye, bye. No, 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 I don't get wrapped in any of that, okay? But just telling us that, well, there's some, there's increasing strength. I can look at more stocks, you know, get more invested. There we go. Small cap picking up. We saw IWM, so is TNA. That's good to see. Small cap. Uranium's picking up a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Oil lagging, leave it alone. <clears throat> Consumer discretionary. It's been languishing, but it's starting to pick up. What's that say? The consumer's buying. We like to know that. Aerospace defense, there's nothing special there. Leave it alone. Biotechnology's just chopping around. There's nothing great there. Leave it alone. Home builders picking up a little bit. Look at the weekly. Look at the weekly. It's starting to pick up. That's good to see. Maybe looking at some home building stocks. Materials, that's still lagging, okay? Stay away from it. Communications picking up, and it has been strong. XLC, I guarantee it. There's a couple stocks that we own that are owned by the CTF too. It's picking up. Good to see. Energy lagging, leave it alone. Financials, still pretty lagging, folks. I'd leave them alone, okay? Industrials picking up a little bit. Tells us the rally's spreading out. Decent base. That's nice to see. Industrial stocks. There we go. Technology. Look at that. Look at the weekly. I mean, folks, you say, watch this. You'll love this. Just focus on the weekly. Well, this one doesn't look too bad. Communications, kind of tech-related. Yeah, you know, energy ain't doing nothing. Finance, yeah, it really ain't doing nothing. Industrials, that's not really doing nothing. Oh, look at this. Technology. It's been, this is the weekly. It's been leading. It's been telling you, hey, look at some technology stocks, right? No forecasting. It's just telling us so you get in line with it. Systemization. It really works. It helps. Okay. Not always control risk. Consumer staples, there's no power in there. Leave it alone. Healthcare is lagging. Leave it alone. <clears throat> Consumer discretionary. Consumer. Okay, let me think here. That's kind of related to what? The other ETF industry I showed, retail, the, the consumer, they're coming back a little bit. That's good to see. Not a lot of power there. Metals and mining, in one second it says I'm staying away from them. And it's been saying that for a long time. Leave it alone. Oil, exploration, lagging, leave it alone. Retailing, lagging, leave it alone. So the consumer's coming back, but it ain't reflected in you retailing. Know that. Software's picking up a little bit. Technology related. That's good to see. Maybe look into the software sector. So let's continue on. Here's Apple. It's been working for us for a while. All right. I mean, a while. And we're just letting it work. This is a valuable lesson for everybody. Good entry and trends pay. Let the stock trend. Okay. This is the weekly walking up the A period on the weekly. Right here's the 21 day. And that's the exponential. Just trending. 
trends pay. Years ago, I would do this and buy this. And after I was up a little bit, I said, man, I got a great gain. I'm taking it. And I would just keep on going. And I'd say, I'm defeating myself. Learn from my mistakes. Trends pay. You can sell some into strength. That really helps, especially after the elimination of the uptick rule. And if you don't know what that is, do some homework on it. I made videos on it. It changed the complexion of stock price action. I will tell you that. The uptick rule. So trends pay. So let's move on here. Amazon. Good entry, weekly, daily, and trends are paying. We're just letting it work. Sold some into strength. We're letting it work. Baba, do you think we own this? Nope. Why? It's a piece of dung right now. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. Now, that could change, okay? But at this point in time, it's underperforming. That's all. Same thing's true with Baidu. There's no real leadership there. Move on. Compare and contrast. You look at Google and you go, wow, that's pretty good. Look at the clean and simple base. Look at the volume push through on the weekly. See this? It'll do something for you. Train your eyes and minds. It, oh, it's going sideways. I guess if it takes out that line, that'd be pretty good. Oh, gee whiz, it did on volume. There you go. And it's working. Clean and simple base, volume surge, lifting off, letting it work. Do you think we own this? Nope. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. MasterCard, lagging, leave it alone. Meta. Another clean and simple base. This has had a couple of clean and simple bases on the weekly, okay? And we're just in on the daily, and we're letting it trend. It's trending. Trends pay. Now, I can't stress this. This isn't bragging, okay? That's nauseating. But I'm trying to train and educate what to look for in the charts before it breaks out. So you can say, the next time I see something like this, um, I have to key on that, maybe buy some. There we go. Remember this. Also, this is for everybody. Rules of proper pyramiding. Never make your first purchase a full purchase. Never. Ease into the stock. Can some level three and four. If your goal is to get to 100 shares, and again, I taught this for years at meetups, IBD meetups. First purchase. Your goal is to get to 100 shares. It's a good stock breaking out of a good base, in a good group, in a good market. Okay? Those constraints are met. First purchase. Your goal is to get to 100. First purchase is 50. Stock advances a little bit. Your next purchase is 30. Stock advances more, a couple of percent. Your next purchase is 20. 50, 30, 20 for a total of 100 shares. If it doesn't advance, you only have 50 shares. That's good investing. Share that with you. Here we go. Microsoft. Look at the clean and simple base here on the weekly. Look at that. Here it is. And yeah, we own it from down lower. We own it down here and here. And what's it doing? It's just trending. Look at this. What are we doing? We're just letting it work. Please, I need to back off here a minute and share something. I'm not bragging here. Oh, no, that, that doesn't work. All right, that's counterproductive. What I'm trying to do at Mission Winners is illustrate what to look for in the charts. Okay, that's the important thing. Let's continue on here. Netflix. I made videos on this. Y'all saw it. This was forming a cup. And I even drew that line and said, gosh, if this could form a handle here, that would be good. Lift it up, formed the cup, and here's the weekly, and it did. And look, people talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Look at the volume on that bar. They voted. And we bought more and we're letting it work. That's simple. Let her work. NVIDIA. We own NVIDIA <clears throat> from down here. Okay? You can say why. I'll show you why. January. This is a powerful lesson. Market was sloppy, and this stock formed a higher low. This low was higher than this low. And then it based, lifted off here through the 50-day, based, lifted off here, off the 50-day, on a pickup in volume. And then what do you do? You ride trends. You just ride trends. And that's what we've done here. There it is. There's the daily chart. Ride trends. Letting it work. Letting it work. Have sold some into strength. Guaranteed profits in good shape. Oh, by the way, let me stress. Don't buy it here. Okay? Please be careful up here. Tesla. Tesla just broke out across these tops here. Volume was pretty good. You can see it on the weekly. You can see these tops across here, and that's going to be a spot we'll buy more. It's working. It's a start. It lifted off Friday. Now watch this, you'll like this. 
Look at the volume on these bar. Look at the volume on that bar, folks. That's a 30-minute chart. Here's the hourly. Look at the volume on that hourly bar. That was catalyst for to buy some. We did. There we go. Let's continue onwards. And again, weekly and daily. Great setup I designed years ago. Visa, what are you doing with this thing? Nothing. It's not, there's nothing happening. Leave it alone. Just like the sister stock MasterCard. And now we're back to the top. Team, this minute, this is an eight and a half minute video, nine minutes. If I wasn't talking, I go through it and it takes all of, gosh, I bet it takes close to a minute and a half to two minutes. You do that a couple of times a day and you will start to see patterns develop. It will refine your skills, your observations and your skills. And big money is made in that max list at right times. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.